So, my take on the strongest melee build would be this exact build. You have Shining, which gives you all of this, the legs, the Pixie Ringlet, which for flying, obviously, the Crown, 35% attack power multiplied, and then the Shield, you take less damage, having more health, and then you also grant allies more shield. This sword, very, very nice. It's fast, has good damage multiplier, and this, you just get more damage every hit, so if you're using this weapon, you'll be swinging really fast. And then also this for 1% lifesteal. So if you're using this, you can live longer, as well as getting enough health, since you're doing good enough damage. And then I'll just show you where to get all the items for this as well. So, obviously, you need some rebirths for at least some of them. But the hardest one, in my opinion, would probably be the sword, because I'm pretty sure it's a decently rare drop. And it, it kind of sucks, because, like, if you're not Rebirth 4, then it's going to be a very big struggle. And then you can also get the crown from the same boss, technically, but in the other world. So you just want to kill this guy a ton of times, and you'll eventually get it. And then for the other one, the, um, the crown I'm using, you want to kill the other variant of him, I guess you could call. Also, if you don't know how to speed glitch, kind of, run faster than what you're meant to be, just, like, tap sparing while you're, um, just going. You should eventually be able to get it. It's not terribly hard to do, so it shouldn't take that long to figure out. But you just basically just time it, that's it. It's really easy. And then you get the crown from this guy. It, yeah, just got it. I don't think it gives any buffs, so don't worry about farming extra. But, I mean, if you want more, it's always good to have. And then now we're going to the Rebirth 5 area. You don't need this shield. You do not need it. You can replace this shield for another one that honestly is just as good, which would be this one. But I believe you still need the same world, so it's not going to really fix anything. You could use this as well for re damage reduction and stuff, just to live longer while you get the other stuff. And then you could use Seeking Crown as a replacement just because you get an ally or something. And that would be a decent replacement for the one I'm using. And you can also use this guy's hat, actually. His hat's really good. Um, this. Deal more damage to injured enemies. And honestly, it's pretty nice. Sea King is up there, if you want to try and get that. And then for the um, shield I'm using, you want to go in here and kill this guy. You'll eventually get it off of him. And then shouldn't be that bad. My damage isn't that good against them because I'm waiting for the charred fang to stack up a little bit. So, there it goes. And you could use this, but it's it's really not that good. I don't suggest it. But overall intake, this is probably the best build you can get for melee. Especially with this sword. This sword is probably the best thing. Everyone has been using the other one, this one. It's not a bad sword, it's really good, but the only reason you would use it is for, like, initial damage. And it's very slow, so I wouldn't personally use it. And if you just look at the time, I'm spam clicking right now and you can't really see a difference. Or, you can see a huge difference, this is much slower. But, you know. Everyone has their own builds. More will obviously be coming out soon, depending on what you watch and everything. But if you want a good build, this is probably the one that I suggest going for, especially for melee. If magic build, you could use this. This is the best one I can make as of right now. Same armor set, helmet as well for more damage multiplier, because it's not just melee restricted. You can use the wings, obviously, for the same reasoning. This, obviously, for magic resistance shred, when you're doing magic damage, fast attack speed, scale with level, magic power, magic resistance, more multiplier, and then 1% lifesteal, so you can live. And then it's, it just starts shredding after a while, but, you know, you gotta be able to hit it first, which is the only really downside about this, because the weapon is so long. But if you manage to just get, like, good enough distance, 
then it's really good. Well, then again, you could also just go to the sword build, and it's much better, honestly. Maybe not for these guys, because they have, like, just straight-up defense through everything. I think they're, they're actually stronger than the boss for some reason, which doesn't make too much sense, but can't really complain. But as soon as the damage multiplier starts kicking in for the melee build, it's so good. And since you're using this, it's also really fast. If you don't like the crown, you could replace the crown for the straw hat, which honestly could be better, but it just depends on if you want damage multiplier or not. But you get more swing speed and stuff, so it's really just up to you. Honestly, they're both really good. Straw hat or crown. I'm using crown just because, but if you're trying to just stay at full health, go for the straw hat.